somehow I missed this news from, I don't know what it was, 10 days ago, 14 days ago. But anyway, this is the best looking Volkswagen EV I've ever seen. And there's one very good reason for that. It's an Xpeng P7. Um, yeah, this is an Xpeng. And Volkswagen now, you know, we all knew that uh, Volkswagen was using Xpeng's new EV platforms for its next generation electric cars. We also knew that it's using their software, their NGP, which is like Volkswagen, which is like Xpeng's for self-driving. But I didn't know they were going so far as even using a lot of the body of Xpeng's vehicles as well. I mean, is this a bad thing? Absolutely not. I mean, would you want to buy a new Volkswagen that is an Xpeng? Sure. I mean, it's an option. Certainly better than Volkswagen's existing MEB platform EVs anyway. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. When I was just in China, actually last week, I saw this vehicle wrapped in camouflage at Xpeng's headquarters. It was in their testing area, like the area with all their other um, pre-production cars. And I thought, that's interesting. That looks a little bit like another EV that I just test drove that morning. Now, looking at the back of this car, guys, it looks a lot like a P7. And so does the glass house of this car. So does the roof line. So does the rear. Yeah. This is basically Volkswagen's version of the XP P7. XP and Volkswagen, they're collaborating on a new ID electric sedan. It's basically a car being built by XP because they make better electric cars than Volkswagen does. So pretty smart move from Volkswagen, in my opinion. Why do all the work yourself if you can get x to do it? Anyway, last year, this was car was announced, and this collaboration centers on a next-generation electric vehicle architecture set to support a wide range of future models from the Volkswagen Group and from x from pure EVs, to traditional combustion and plug-in hybrid vehicles. I don't know about traditional combustion, but I, th you know, I mean, if Volkswagen can get their hands on the e-rev technology from Xpeng, that would be good for them because it's much better than any Volkswagen hybrids. I mean, miles better. Anyway, among the first of these shared creations is this vehicle. And I've just got a message here from someone in China. They've shown me a photo. This is what it looks like. And they've said this is called the Yuz Hong 08, Yuz Hong 08 in China. So, yeah, that's officially the name. There's no news for it yet on the internet, none, zero. I looked it up and I can't find anything. So, yeah, good to hear this from, I guess, one of the first people to hear about this stuff. Now, I personally think this car looks fantastic. I don't know if x being designed it for Volkswagen, but... It really is a quite a stunning looking vehicle. The more you look at it, the more you think that doesn't look anything like any Volkswagen that I've ever seen for good reason. Now at the front, you can see it's got split LED headlights and a small illuminated badge in the center. There's a large open black grill and smooth lines. And yeah, it doesn't look anything like the P7 in terms of its radical sharp angles, but you can see it's still a similar size and a similar sort of profile. So what would potentially power this car? Well, most likely it's going to be a P7. And I'm going to guess the specs will be the same, yeah? The P7 is a relatively big sedan coupe type vehicle. It's just over five meters long. It's 5,017 millimeters. That's 197.5 inches. There's two battery pack options. Both of them are lithium ion phosphate. 75 kilowatt hour pack in the smaller option a bigger 93 kilowatt hour battery in the longer range version. So power, rear wheel drive, it has 362 horsepower, 270 kilowatt, and the all drive version has 586 horsepower, which is 437 kilowatt. It's got some really um, funky features as well. We'll get to those in just a second. The all drive version can hit zero to 62 miles an hour, which is zero to 100 in 3.7 seconds. Top speed is 142 miles an hour has a really wild race mode that makes these kind of wacky race car sounds, <laughs> which would be super fun for a kid. For me, though, I thought it was pretty um, corny. Anyway, I know some people like this stuff, so hey, you can turn it off if you want to. Range. Uh, base model, CLTC range is 702 kilometers. That's 436 miles. Probably going to be about 300 miles realistically. 
The longer range version is 820 kilometers, which is 509 miles. So that might have about 380 miles of range. Plenty of range. I mean, that longer range version is going to give you quite a bit of range. Resync Solar is the company that I used. I'll put a link to them in the description below. Volkswagen is taking the Chinese market seriously. Its sales have been falling there and it's trying to figure out how to fix the problem. Beyond confirming that it's jointly developed electrical and electronic architecture with Xpeng, not really jointly developed, X Volkswagen just gave them some money and said, you do the work, will underpin future EVs. The company has made clear that the same foundation will serve combustion and plug-in hybrid models. That said, in China, people don't really want combustion-powered models anymore. And in fact, even plug-in hybrid sales are falling this year. They've fallen for five straight months in a row, whereas EV sales have continued to rise. Now, this new system, though, will enable over-there updates, and it's designed to streamline vehicle development, cutting production timelines, and allowing faster adaptation to market trends. And it basically allows the Volkswagen Group to not have to invest continued billions of dollars into these architectures that never see the light of day. I mean, what happened with Audi and Porsche is a debacle. And, you know, the software problems that the Volkswagen Group have been facing, they're just outsourcing stuff now, which really does make sense. The German brand has committed to launching more than 30 new models in China. And many of those will probably go overseas as well, including 20 of them to be electrified. In addition to working with Xpeng to make these a reality, it is collaborating with the FAW Volkswagen and Volkswagen and We Joint Ventures, and it's getting SAIC, SAIC, to help it basically build its Audis for it as well. So what do you guys think of this car? What do you think of the Volkswagen Group's plans? Would you consider buying a Volkswagen knowing it's pretty much an Xpeng or a Xiaopeng? I probably would. To be honest, I'd probably just buy the, the Xpeng, but that's just me. Guys, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.